Now, the future of two local colleges now on the line. Right now, House lawmakers mulling whether to push forward a controversial bill merging New College of Florida and Florida Polytechnic with a bigger university. So big impacts for local students. Our Capitol reporter, Forrest Saunders, joins us live now from Tallahassee with more on this tonight. Forrest. Yeah, this is a very pivotal vote tonight. If the House Appropriations Committee advances this bill, it goes to the full House chamber. So this might be the last chance that opponents get to speak their mind before that bill moves. It wasn't hard to spot Polytechnic students at the Capitol ahead of the day's decisive vote. It's the marketing that we're trying to use for hashtag support FL Poly. Sophomore Samantha Ashby here to tell lawmakers she's afraid of the unknowns in a takeover. A lot of students are scared because we don't know exactly what will happen with our degree plans because um, we do have a specialized education system where we don't do all the normal gen eds. Her support effort coming after new college students and staff tried similar lobbying last week. College President Don O'Shea joining them to kill House Bill 7087. It's a top school in the nation. What's to fix? The consolidation could save money. The latest version putting Poly and New College under University of Florida, eliminating administration costs and lowering the state price on tuition. For every one student we, we educate at these schools, there's five students that we can't educate. Sponsor Representative Randy Fine says it's only a matter of time before Florida has a recession. Saving now, the Republican believes, benefits everyone later. The risk for schools like this is they just get closed because they go up. Oh, we can't afford a school where it costs $200,000 a degree when we have school that it cost $20,000. Critics point out savings would be small. The two schools, less than 2% of the $6 billion higher ed budget. Even so, Fine's bill has gotten through one committee and could do it again if students and staff don't make their case. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.